Hello everyone, it's me Teacher Jay. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are going to discuss another topic for grade 9, which is solving problems involving properties of parallelograms. Before that, let's review first the properties of parallelogram. First, in a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent. Second, in a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. 3. In a parallelogram, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. 4. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. 5. A diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. Please take note of these properties of parallelograms because we are going to apply this one in solving problems involving properties of parallelogram. Let's have the first example. Parallelogram ABCD. AB measures 9 centimeters. BC measures 6 centimeters. We are going to find the value of X and Y. Based from the figure, we are going to apply the property of parallelogram wherein any two opposite sides are congruent. In short, segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Since AB is 9 cm and X now or segment CD is 9 cm. If BC or segment BC is congruent to segment AD, and BC is 6, therefore, Y or segment AD is equal to 6 cm. Let's have another example. Parallelogram WXYZ. If the measure of angle W is 135, then what is the measure of angle Y? Measure of angle X? Measure of angle Z? Look at the given parallelogram. If W is 135 degrees, opposite angle of this angle W is angle Y. And we are going to apply the property of parallelogram wherein any two opposite angles are congruent. Meaning, angle W is congruent to angle Y. So this is also 135 degrees. So measure of angle Y is equal to 135. How about the measure of angle X? The, the relationship of angle W and angle X are consecutive angles. And if you are going to add these two angles, the sum is 180 degrees. So this is angle W is 135 degrees. So angle X now is equal to 45 degrees. So the measure of angle X is 45. Angle X is congruent to angle Z because they are in opposite angles. So this is also 45 degrees. So measure of angle Z is equal to 45. Let's have another example. Parallelogram DEFG. DG measures Y plus 36. EF measures 10Y. Find the value of Y in parallelogram DEFG. Based from the figure, DG is congruent to EF. 
we applied the property wherein any two opposite sides are congruent. So DG or segment DG is congruent to segment EF. Substitute the value of segment DG and EF. We have Y plus 36 is equal to 10Y. By using subtraction property of equality, we have y plus 36 minus y is equal to 10y minus y. Simplify, y plus 36 minus y, we have 36. And then 10y minus y is equal to 9y. To solve for y, Divide po natin yan, both sides of the equation by 9, and y now is equal to 4. So the val value of y is 4. Let's have another example. We have the parallelogram DEFG, diagonals FD and EG intersect at H. If the segment EH is equal to 4W minus 24 and GH is equal to 5W minus 37, find the value of W and segment EH. Look at the figure. EH is congruent to GH. We applied the property wherein the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So segment EH is congruent to segment GH. Substitute natin, ang EH is 4 minus 4W minus 24 is equal to, ang GH natin is 5W minus 37. And then simplify or simply transpose 5W to left side and negative 24 to right side. We have 4W minus 5W is equal to negative 37 plus 24. Simplify, 4W minus 5W, we have negative W is equal to negative 37 plus 24 is equal to negative 13. Applying MPE, or simply divide both sides of the equation by negative 1, W is equal to 13. So the value of W is equal to 13. We are going to find EH, or segment EH. Since segment EH is equal to 4W minus 24, substitute the value of W, which is positive 13. So we have Segment EH is equal to 4 times 13 minus 24. Simplify. 4 times 13, that is 52, minus 24. EH now is equal to 28 units. Let's have another example. Parallelogram GHIJ. Angle G measures 4C plus 40 degrees. Angle I measures 9C degrees. Find the value of C. Find the measure of angle G. Find the measure of angle H. Measure of angle I. And measure of angle J. Look at the figure. Angle G is congruent to angle I. We use the property wherein any two opposite angles are congruent. So measure of angle G is congruent to measure of angle I. Substitute the value of G and I, we have 4C plus 40 is equal to 9C. Or, 4C plus 40 is equal to 9C. Simplify by using subtraction property of equality. 4C minus 4C plus 40 
is equal to 9C minus 4C. We have 40 is equal to 9C minus 4C is equal to 5C. To solve 4C, we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 5. C now is equal to 8. Next, we are going to solve for the measure of angle G. Since the measure of angle G is equal to 4C plus 40, substitute the value of C which is 8. We have the measure of angle G is equal to 4 times 8 plus 40. Simplify. 4 times 8 that is 32 plus 40 is equal to 72. So the measure of angle G is equal to 72. So if this is 72 degrees, angle I now is equal to 72 degrees because they are congruent. Next, we are going to find the measure of angle H. Angle G and angle H are consecutive angles. The sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So, the measure of angle H is equal to 108 degrees. And now, we are going to find the measure of angle J. Angle H, opposite angle of this, is angle J. And they are congruent. So, angle J now is equal to 108 degrees. So, just in case you have questions or clarification, just type your question po sa ating comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you and God bless.